Right, where on earth are we the deer? Apart from at the side of a road yes. in, in Scotland. Yeah, but unfortunately this is the only place we can park where we're going, so this, there's going to be cars whizzing past. So let's get this chit chat let's, going. Let's get, this show, let's get this show on the, the road. The tractors and the lorries and everything else come on. Come uh -huh. on. So where we're going today because you you know better than me actually you you've got more well of... i've had a i've had a walk around it's called dundas castle and it's in kirkliston um so you know you can just park on the side of the road and walk in there's about a three mile sort of walk circular um round the castle um 15th century ah about it? 15th century so um dundas family and then i think it got mm -hmm. flogged on to some posh uh, mp wasn't it well, in the 19th century. Um, Pretty sure, yeah. So, but the grounds are lovely. I think it's it's a venue mostly for weddings now. So, um, there's a lovely little lake and there's a little sort of honeymoon cabin, cottage thing on the lake, um, oh. which for, is quite quaint and cute. So, is that for people who want a honeymoon that includes spiders and moths? Well, I'm sure there will be, but that's kind of what that could be anywhere. Yes, that's true. So, that's true. But anyway, it's a it's a lovely day today. So it's um, at the moment it is what does that say? Six degrees, which is good considering we were told it's going to be minus six or something today. Minus five today uh -huh. and as high as six. So we're very lucky. The sun is out. There's no clouds in the sky at the moment, and um, it should be a nice day. We're wrapped up anyway for the cold. Um, but we're wanting to get out before the beast from the east. Yes, the hits beast us from all, the east which coming, which is a ridiculous theatrical name for a weather condition. So I it's know, going to be get, a little bit lost. cold. Ooh, let's all panic and die when uh -huh. the Inuits seem to do absolutely fine in the snow. No problems whatsoever. Yeah. So, so they're getting a bit carried away, aren't they? They're getting carried away um, with the beast from the east. But anyway, we'll soon see. It's ah. meant to be snow on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly Friday. But we'll soon see. We're, we're sick of the snow by now yes. anyway. Well, that, that that being the case, have you got any hot tips for people what, dealing with the cold? Just from experience that, that you've... Actually, I read something the other day about what you take in your car when you, you know, when you're expecting a... Electric you know, heater? ...fall of snow. And it was saying things like, you know, a pen... Um, a pen? A pen. Why? Um, a pen. <laughs> so you can write no, your, but you it gets worse. I know what so the pen's for. That's so you can write your will. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so a pen, a blanket, which is a usual. Blanket makes sense, yeah. Um, oh God, it was a list. But it actually, Candle. It, it, it said a compass. Well, if you haven't got a map, it's useless. Why would you need a compass? <laughs> no, but it's seriously. of no use. It's of no use so whatsoever. So if anybody knows why you need a compass when you're stuck in your car... Then, then, well, fair enough. If you've got a map, if you've got a map, that makes water, sense. Water, take won't. water. What else would you really need if you were stuck in your car at this time of the year? I just think a blanket. Porta potty. I never thought about that. Toilet paper. Oh god. These are all things people don't want to think about, but you need. Here's what I would take: a couple of torches, torches ex on it, extra mm -hmm. fuel, and some sort of chain tires. Uh, sorry, uh, the chains for your tyres. If it's really that bad, for Well, we'll sake. see. I'm sh pretty sure we'll all be hearing about it once it's here. But it's meant to be here. And then it's meant to stay cold till mid-March. But I'm not going to scare anybody with that because we'll soon see. So the next video could be us making snowmen. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. You can't call them snowmen now. Oh, person. It's a snow person. So thanks for killing all the fun there. Thanks. Uh -huh. Brilliant. So anyway, let's get back to what we're talking about, about the trail Dundas Is it Dundas Castle? Dundas Castle. So it's, as I say, about a three, three and a half mile walk round yeah. um, the grounds of the castle. <clears throat> and I don't think you're allowed too close to the castle, but we'll try and get... Why is Some that then? Is that, is that because it's a private residence? Yeah. That, the thing is, if it's a private residence, I've got no problems with that. None uh -huh, whatsoever. Uh -huh, if it's private uh -huh. property, well, that's just... But I get annoyed when they don't let you go to certain areas and it's open to the public, I think. Just let people enjoy their yeah. history. You know. So I think because it's a nice day today and because everybody knows it's going to be a cold snap next week, I think everybody will be out today. So we'll try and... Panic get... buying. <laughs> panic panic <laughs> treat. Panic buying Take pot a... noodles. So, but on that note, I think we should get out and enjoy ourselves before the beast from the east. So what you're, what you're essentially saying is we should get out. Get out. Yeah, yeah I, know, <laughs> I can, I always have to agree with that sort of sentiment. Yeah. So sun's out. Let's so get out and about. Let's get out and about <laughs> and enjoy it. Okay.
So I'll, no no complaints about the cold today then if the sun's No, out. definitely not. I don't feel cold, so Ah, in the six, car and, six, and it's six degrees just <laughs> now, no, but even when we wandered about earlier it's six degrees, so all good. But anyway, let's get going. Aye, yep. let's make a move. Let's okay. Speak to you soon. Right. Get out. Get oh, out. we can't do that yet. That's it. No, no, right. The, get bye. in. Right, bye. <laughs> all the little glamping sections up here, all the wee glamping houses. So it's closed for the season just now, just because obviously it's too cold. Never done glamping before. Camping, yeah, but never done glamping. So this is just coming up to the honeymoon suite that you can stay in when you get 
get married at Dundas Castle. It's own little sort of cottage looking over the lake, which is really nice. track here now that's either from a horse or 
someone's dropped a piece of Cumberland sausage, so which do you think it is? This is a tree growing out the rocks. Nice. Now, what did this building used to be, though? Swing golfing. No idea what this used to be. Can't get in to have a look, though. What did that used to be? Almost looks like a little quarry here. See? But. What this building was. It's very nice here, yeah, there's loads of wildlife. Uh, sun's actually out, blue sky. Look at the ferns, little ferns up there growing out the wall. <laughs> what do you think that used to be? That's modern there, eh? that's old, and then you've got this breeze block yeah, rubbish. There's two openings, isn't there? Uh huh, there's a little door around here. Door there. Do you know, I don't know what's making quite heavy a
Right, we've made it back. I'll let, I'll let you go first because I'm going to give them a right trashing. Are you? Aye. Private sign here, private sign there. Yeah, but it is for weddings, so if you were getting married, you wouldn't want everybody traipsing about. So it's, I think. Anyway, yeah, so lovely walk today. Um, Lots of animals. The weather's been very, very good today, considering um, cold in certain parts of the shade, and there's a little bit of snow and things like that as well in some parts. But cold, really nice walk. Cold, clear, and bright. Uh -huh. So we, we found come... we found bones. We've seen a heron. We've seen swans, ducks, mm -hmm. geese, hares, um, blackbirds, blackbird, lots of blackbirds, hawks. Um, so and you know, not uh, many people. Not, not that many many, people. No, I thought it would be quite a lot of people out considering next week's going to be blizzards, allegedly. So, <laughs> I bet it's fine, I bet it's I fine. So anyway, it was really nice. I, I like it. I've been round that walk mm -hmm. quite a lot of times, so I kind of know it. But that was your first time walking around, so yes, what do I you think? I think the name is highly um, suspect. Reason being? Dundas Castle, and you can't get to the castle. It's not Dundas Castle, then. They've got to sign it, though, for people going in. Mm -hmm. Dundas, Dundas you know? Castle Grounds. Uh -huh. there's also, That's what they should have called There's it. also um, glamping on the estate as well. There are about oh, yes. six different glamping areas, and it's like there's one, they're, they're situated all in the one section Aye. of the lake. And they're, I don't know how far apart would you say, not very, actually. Not, they're not very far apart, but they're each called different things. Like there's a swan, there's a heron, mm -hmm. there's the robin, wren, mallard, mallard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was all these different the the, the the glamping tents, whatever you call them, are all named differently. They're closed, obviously, for the season. It's too cold just ah, now. Right. Don't know what the season it is that they open up at, but probably really nice you know to look over to that lake in the morning and the things but the wee swans what a shame they had a tiny little part of the lake to Cause, swim around because everything was it's frozen. All fro frozen it was bulletproof it was we were trying to throw <laughs> stones like we did on the um it was ridiculous what video did we do we were through the stones and it house of the bins house of the bins that's right so yes. um but i threw the stone and it just was not smashing through no. the ice so it was Bullet, pretty thick bulletproof today. glass so if you like ice skating get yourself down there for a little skate uh-huh um, but no, I enjoyed today. Really liked uh, it, and a lot of greenery considering it mm -hmm, is still winter. Pretty good. Lots so it's of, going to get even better. Lots at of natural time. wildlife. But what 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 about mocks out of ten? Because I'm going to trash them. I've actually never been in the castle, so I can't mark it on the castle. I can only mark no. But it. The, just the, if you were good, if you were going to visit today, what would what when you came back and someone said, oh, what, what marks would you give? Like? Um, okay, probably I think seven. Seven. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I felt annoyed every time there was a sign saying, don't go that way, you've got to go this way. Uh -huh, they're just keeping it private because there is people that live on the estate as well. So Aye. it's respecting their privacy. Um, but, you know, you could go right up and quickly take a picture of the castle and run away if you want. Yes, <laughs> like Mission Impossible. <laughs> if you like living dangerously, that's spot on or mm -hmm. you're an anarchist. So yeah. what's your March 32? Four. Okay. Is that bad? That's low for me. I'm I'm normally pretty. You mm -hmm. just it's the, the name Dundas Castle. So you go brilliant. I can't wait to get the castle. Oh, you're not allowed to go to the castle. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like me opening a fish and chip well, shop. Well, you maybe and, need to get married to see inside the castle. But if if you opened a fish and chip shop and someone turned up and said, "I'll have fish and chips, please," they said, "I can't have any." 
Only private people can have them. You can have a sandwich, though. You wouldn't call it a fish and chip shop, so I was a bit annoyed by that. You can't really False be that advertising. annoyed because in Scotland you're pretty free to roam a lot of different places compared to other parts of the country. You're not really allowed. There's signs up everywhere. You know, you can go camping a lot of places in Scotland and not get stopped. Well, it's illegal, you, you can know. can go walking anywhere, practically, you know. Um, mm-hmm. well, a, there is a, a, a historical case to which that relates to. It was the Crofters, wasn't it, who were treated mm-hmm. like ah! They shouldn't have been. But um, that's changed. But it's still illegal to wild camp in... Um, no, you're, you're okay to do it in Scotland, but England, it's illegal. Mm-hmm. So if you set up a camp... It's illegal. That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand why that why there should be that difference. And then if you hop over the border, it's not. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, you, you've, there's private rules there for a reason, and that's because it's somebody's special day, and they don't just want any hoodlums hanging about on their day if they're getting photographs taken and things mm-hmm. like that. So I don't particularly mind that. It would be nice no. if there was an open day at the castle that you could go, and perhaps there is. I don't know, but. I'm sticking by my seven, seven out of ten. Lovely seven. grounds, lovely walk. It was tranquil. It was nice, and that's this is you know um, in the winter, so you can't get any better than that. It's only mm-hmm. going to get better from now now on in with the weather and things. Well, if you think about it, five's average, and I'm giving it four, so it's slightly, slightly below average. So it's not. I'm not slagging it off totally. I and my, and my my um, scoring levels it out slightly so it makes aye, it above average aye. if you put the two scoring it's together. all right nice for a quick walk um i've got a bit of a blister today though haven't i yeah we did a eight and a half mile run yesterday um aye. so and you were very quiet on the run so i knew there was something that wasn't quite just a lot of fitting, pain just a lot of pain yeah um but you know when that, you put miles like that and if you're gradually building up your miles every week you're going to experience Mild discomfort. Aches and pains and <laughs> discomforts and things. Because yeah. I felt as though this ball of my foot was getting a little bit tender as well. But anyway, so anything else to say on Dundas Castle? Nah, well, it's just, just false up from, advertising. Just up from Kirk Liston. Um, if you want to go, we'll put obviously the details of directions and things. Oh, I'll stick where the, you get to. I'll but, stick the maps listing in, so it'll um, take you straight there. But. It's a nice little. We we took our time going round because obviously we like to photograph things. And we found mm-hmm. the, the, the bones, all the bones, bones of what see. I think was a deer. Um, so we like to take our time going round and trying to find as much interest as we can to to yeah, show you. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I enjoyed it. Ah, it was all right. Yeah, deer. but I just think they the, the must do something about that. Of this privacy bit. Okay. I don't yeah. know how you would They're do that. Gonna, they probably wouldn't do anything. But well, no, no. If, we'll I, if I was see. a rich landowner, I wouldn't do anything either. If your opinion matters, we'll wait and see. <laughs> probably not. No, I'm sure it'll just be just as popular. And <laughs> so anyway, it's still a nice day. So we're going to try and do you know a little bit more in our own private time of what what we've got planned and we're going to invade some private land, aren't we? Just to get <laughs> just to get out of my system. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so we'll say geo for now. Aye, and really, it's cold but bright today, so no one's mm-hmm. got an excuse, so get out. Get out. <laughs> and if, if not, why not? What's your excuse? Yeah. And the, you can only have, there's two excuses you're allowed to have. You're either watching Trail Trek. Yeah, that's okay, that's allowed. Or. Or you don't live in Scotland. <laughs> or, no, or you're ill. That's it. Yeah. If you if you watch it, if you finish watching this, please go out because there's a whole world out there that you're missing, and wild animals are everywhere, and we really do take it for granted. And walking can be. I know it sounds a bit boring, but you can make it as as exciting as you want it to be. Like a um, white knuckle thrill know, ride. We, we, we do a lot more out with just walking to keep ourselves fit. Um, so you know. But the walking's the thing that... Ah, we, when, we, when we're not filming, when we walk, we take a big telegraph pole, like, like the Marines, and we run down the... Well, some, <laughs> something along Pure those lines. Leather. We do something like that. But no, we do keep ourselves fit in other, other ways. Um, but so, to some people, walking... Well, I think walking gets... boring, but we find things... Walking gets out. a slagging off, because people go, it's too easy, and they associate it with old people, when really that's not the case. Because... People say, I've been for a run, and now we're runners, but whether you run a mile or walk a mile, you've gone the same exact distance, and it's the same amount of calories, basically. So what difference does it make? It just takes a different amount of time. I would time. argue different on that. I would say would you, you burn more calories. Running. How, though? Because your heart's beating faster. Yeah, because you're doing it quicker. 
Mm-hmm. But think of the time aspect. I would still argue that, but this has been an ongoing thing that we disagree on, but never mind. You're just doing it at a different pace. That's the only difference. Mm-hmm. Unless you're spr- unless you, I would agree once you once you reach sprinting speed, but otherwise it's very negligible, the difference in calories. Whether I'm right or not, it's another matter. Someone can look, someone can Google that up and then slag me off and say, he's wrong, there's a, there's a half a already calorie difference, have, idiot. I already have Googled it, but let's, <laughs> have not you? Go, what let's, did it not, say? let's not go into that. Well, what did it say? I can't remember, it was ages ago, but it was <laughs> well, definitely, I'll been very send revealing. it to you. It was definitely saying that if you run, if you walk, there's a difference in burning How calories. How much, though? I can't remember, I'll have a look, I'll check it out. But anyway, let's, we said cheerio five minutes ago, so we'll say cheerio I know, again. Yeah, but hang on, but the, the thing is that the viewers have, have created this rod for their own back because they insisted on more chit-chat. Oh, God. So it's God refer- help you all, So then. we've got to have, like, a mother's meeting. You know, where they're all... My children's job is this sure colour. And, you know, that's that's what they go on about, don't they? I'm sure they don't want that. But anyway, let's just... You never know. It's, it's the I internet. I can see the minutes clocking up here. That's okay, right. That's fine. People There's nothing wrong with that. Right, so come on. Um, we've said goodbye. But any tips on walking? Because we give tips on cold weather, tips on walking... To keep it nice. Depends the length of walk. Take a snack. That's that would be my one. That's exactly what I was about to say. Take Depends a snack. The length because we've been out when we've been hungry, we've been out when we've been thirsty, and we've been ill prepared. Well, we was... get lost and then we end up. It adds an extra two, three hours onto well, our walk. Well, can you remember when we did that nine and a half miles at Hadrian's Wall? What happened? Mm-hmm. We were nearly we crawling were back to the car. Hours, hours and miles. And by the time we got to the car, we were so thirsty. But the, the, it was ridiculous. But it was sod's law, wasn't it? Because we got back to the car. And the only thing that we had to drink was warm, fizzy Pellegrino. Oh, it was horrific. Yeah. So you, you were dead thirsty, but it was so fizzy you couldn't drink it. So, we'll, we'll... so yeah. So depending, like I say, we always take our backpacks and it's got everything in it from... Oh, my. You know, everything you could possibly everything, need. Everything, plasters, blister things, all yeah. the necessities. Um, sometimes we take a little, some food with us. Today we had, and we've shared this, Monster Yogurt Flavour Flapjack. Um, don't know. I don't, know why, remember I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's monstrous. Monster, well, it's quite big, isn't it? I mean, we've shared that. We had two, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. we've only shared one. There's still one. That's the thing that worries me is. Yet. So that's quite good because mm-hmm. obviously it's got oats in it that keep you fuller longer. But the thing that worries me is mm-hmm. yogurt flavoured topping. So what the hell is it? Well, it shouldn't have the ingredients on it. Like what's that white know. stuff though? It's got yogurt flavour in it. But what's what is it? Is it plaster of Paris? Is it? Mm. I couldn't find anything no, revealing did you, on there. Yo- yogurt powder, milk yogurt powder. It says on it. But anyway, oh, these kind of flapjack things keep you. Keep, keep you going. Keep you going, so... Well, listen to this revelation. Mm-hmm. Um, on one of the videos, a guy called Steve put a comment, and he said, I take cheese and crackers. Now, at first I thought, cheese and crackers, that's absolutely ridiculous. But think about it, it's actually genius. It doesn't go soggy. It's packed full of energy. Oh, so he and takes quite cheese like... and crackers with him. Oh, ah, yeah. God, can you imagine if it was a hot day, though, and, and the, 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 the hot backpack? Cheese, No. Well, Sorry, thought... Steve. I wouldn't take cheese. No, wouldn't be something. I thought I would... it was a really good idea. Did you? Because not crackers, maybe, but because it's compact, high in energy. Or if you get those little cheese, you know the ones that you get in the... cheese strings. No, you know when you go to a hotel and you get a little bowl of these sort of che- little cheeses that size. Oh and, yes, yes. You know, There's you an applewood one and red a, yeah, gloucester yeah. and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. cheddar and all the rest of it. So you can maybe use them and take those with you, but you need to stay somewhere too. Pinch them all. <laughs> well, Steve, if you're watching, can you put in the comments what, how you take the cheese? Because when I first... Oh, I suppose you could have a little sort of one of these cooling bags, which I've got. I'll show you. Unless he's up it's cold... Tiny uh, maybe bag. he's up cold hills. Mm-hmm. Depends uh, where you're going again. I don't know. Well, but I thought it was It really a good does idea. depend. Plan your journey. How many hours are you going? Make sure you look at a map. <laughs> mm-hmm. and Pepper spray. <laughs> and, you know, we get lost at times as well. We get We're lost all no the time, experts, but that's, but that's, by any means, but that's part of the fun. That's part of the fun, yeah. Out. But anyway, we're now, as I say, clocking up the minutes here, so... It's a disgrace. <laughs> it's an absolute disgrace. Right, we're off. And you got any, you got anything more to say about Dundas Castle? I just wish they would sort this privacy issue out. No, I just, no. I don't mind it. I'm happy enough with the walk today, so mm-hmm. I've said everything. Very I want nice. to see now. Yes, we, so, we actually got some Thank footage. you again for everybody for watching. Really Aye. appreciate 
um, all your likes and any Although comments was, you've got. Thank you was, very much. I got a comment from uh, was it an American complaining because um, the one where the guy gets kicked in the balls. Who got kicked in the balls? Um, Delaval, Delaval, the son, the the son at the Delaval Ma Mausoleum, Seton right. Delaval. Uh huh. And I think the comment was, he wouldn't be laughing about getting kicked in the balls. I don't think he would either. No, well, I don't, but it's still funny. In the same way that if you see someone slip on a banana skin, the viewer finds it funny, whereas the person... As long as they don't hurt their self, it can sometimes be funny. I even laugh at, I laugh at myself. Well, he died, things. though. I'm always he, doing silly things. He died things. from a kick to the balls. I'm always saying silly things and doing silly things, uh -huh. but anyway, that's just part of me. Comedy is a subjective yeah. matter, and it depends... And you're open to something else now. But I'm just explaining why I found that funny. Because mm -hmm. it is, it's it's universally hilarious to me. But there you go. Because you, if you don't laugh, you cry. Right, we're off. That's true. This time. Talking of which, we're off. We've, we've given you <laughs> we've, we've given you enough uh, misery. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>